All right, it's time. Time to play one of the most infamous porting disasters ever. Nis America, Nisa. Yes, we're playing Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Dana on PC. And, well, I might be able to get away with it because I have Windows 10. And, but those ha who have Windows 7 and NVIDIA might be screwed out of playing this game. Alright. Let's see. Controller being used does not require adjustment. What the fuck does that mean? How do you judge that? No! That makes no sense. At all. Does not require adjustment. How, how do you... Who gives you the right to decide that game? Hmm. Okay, let's do this on Inferno. A mer cruel, merciless difficulty. Empty balls are consumed. Item limits are reduced. Enemies are faster and more. We are not the tools of any higher power. Each of us is the very embodiment of free will. Even so, there comes a time in every man's life when he must answer a call to destiny beyond human understanding. How will you respond when that moment strikes you? Surely nothing is more awe-inspiring than one who unceasingly pushes himself beyond the threshold of his courage and will. I had hoped to embody such an ideal myself. Even now, many decades later, my awe for her remains unwavering. Adol Kristen, preface to the travel log of the Gait C. Gait C. The Isle of Siren. Why do they not let me change my buttons at all? What if someone... Like, why? Southeast Greek, the Gite Sea. It let me change it before when I was just testing out the game, but now uh, it won't let me. Is it because... I'm using a, an Xbox One Elite controller. Maybe that's why. That wouldn't make any sense. It's still an X input. It should not be able to recognize this as anything but an X input. Passenger Liner Lombardia. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'll be forced to use their uh, use their default controller scheme after all, huh? Admiral Kristen. Yo, Adam, you taking a break too? Dogi, he does not have a last name. Wouldn't believe how suffocating it gets in the cargo hold. Gotta say, that uniform looks pretty good on you. Awfully nice of him to let us hmm, I think I should try to up the voice volume a bit, if possible. They got me moving cargo around, and you helping out as a sailor on this voyage. Paying and feeding us too. Pretty sweet deal if you ask me. We need to thank the captain we should save up while we can. Yeah. Man, that Captain Barbaros. He looks intimidating, but he's a good man. Dependable too. Thanks to him, we'll be able to hit the next stop on our journey once we dock. I'm a little sad we gotta say goodbye to Sandra. There's no time to be moping when adventure's waiting for us. I'm looking forward to it, buddy.
Prologue Night on the Gaite Sea. So, Adam, what is our next stop anyway? Once we dock in Sunyan, Greek is just around the bend. They're not changing the names, huh? Wherever the wind may take us, that's the most irresponsible answer. <laughs> what, are you a poet now? Or are you trying to talk like Luta? If you ask me, I would have preferred heading west, along the coast of Africa. Whoa, whoa! Are you guys voyaging to Altago? Yes, this game does take place before E7, despite the numbering. Seriously, why, something is really wrong here. Is it because I'm in full screen mode? That wouldn't make sense either. Adol has always been looking for a way to get to Altago. Unbelievable. You do know about the conflict between the kingdom of Altago and the Roman Empire, don't you? Roman navy vessels are pretty much the only ships that can enter that region of the sea. <laughs> I heard that you're an adventurer. That just seems reckless. Yeah, well, there's never a dull moment when I'm tagging along with this guy. Adel can't walk more than three steps without stepping in some kind of adventure. What do you say, Kathy? Feel like tagging along too? <laughs> Thanks, but I'll pass. Anyway, you two, break time's almost over. Doki, I need you to get back to work in the cargo room. Back on the clock already, huh? No problem. I'll head down right now. Get you later, Adol. Um. What should I do? You've already learned the basics of keeping a lookout. Hmm. Please go see Captain Barbaros. He told me to send you to his quarters once your job was finished. The captain's quarters can be found at the quarter deck, near the stern of the ship. L to move, approach a character with A, examine with A. Button controls. Access skills and flash guard are the same for some reason. I don't know why they chose to it chose to, to, to be like that. I also don't know why they aren't letting me do any of my own custom settings right now. Change ally tactics back button. Hmm. What's the difference between adventuring gear and item screen though? Also, it looks like the D-pad has a lot of different functions now for some reason. So I have to make a habit of using the L stick. So yes, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna, probably gonna do a really bad job at this game, just trying to get used to the control scheme. How to use DLC? Go to the item menu DLC tab. Oh, now I can go into my button configs. I guess it's because I'm in within uh, the the uh, the uh, I'm in the game itself, huh? Yeah, this is why it helps to have those co uh, uh, config uh, programs, that, uh, uh, like the ones that Xseed puts with their ports. I really hope I can get used to this way of doing things. Dodge with the L button. Uh, Hmm. A little nervous about how. Uh, I think the resolution might have been di uh, might have been changing resolutions on itself <laughs> without me noticing. I better go check that off screen. Hmm. Where where make my first save file? Okay. Turn the voice volume way up on this game.
Let's go talk to some NPCs before heading to the captain. Alright, so down is expands the map. Right it gives me the journal telling me what I need to do next. Hmm. Former bandit from the Asteria region. Bardia. Uh, oh, apparently there's the rumors that Falcom's gonna give pretty much everything to Nisa from now on. So hopefully they learn their lesson and we won't get another disaster in the making. And if there is another disaster, please don't affect my specific setup. Hey. The Gaite Sea has always been a popular maritime trade route. Which is why it's so full of pirates looking to steal cargo. Lombardia may be a passenger liner, but she's got some nice cannons just in case we gotta defend ourselves. Nothing is more important than keeping our passengers safe. Thank you, nameless soldier. Sure missed the days when... Every NPC was named. Sailing away on the Gaite Sea. Hello. Oh, hey, Adol. Still keeping watch? Oh, you're looking for the captain. Huh, you should already know that the captain's headquarters are near the stern. <laughs> hmm, what a perfect day for a voyage. Truly, this is a gift from the Almighty. Would you like to join me in prayer? Which deity are you referring to, though? The church offers guidance to all who need it. Would you like to join me in prayer? Oh wait, you and Dogi are really good guys. I know you haven't been aboard for long, but it's been great working with you. Also, Lombardia sails under the flag of the Roman Empire, but those guys end up trying to arrest me in E6, so... That might... Uh, how... what the... Thanks to that, the pirates know better than to try to raid the ship. Huh, maybe I should... Uh, may, did Adol do something to piss off Roma in this game? Oh yeah, by holding the dash button, I can sprint. Obviously, it won't allow me to use flash move, but it could still be useful in certain situations. Yeah, and jumping returns, but I don't know if it'll be quite as platformy as the the Pishtim games. Let's, the store leaves below deck. Go to the captain's quarters near the storm of the ship. You can't tell me what to do. I guess. Well, I guess you can, but. Alright, talk to everyone up here. I thought accompanying my father on his business trip would be more interesting. Instead, I watched a bunch of grown men suck up to each other. It was pathetic. Uh, what a waste of time. Uh, I thought this whole trip would be more interesting. What a waste of time. We won't be seeing land again for a while. It's a very sweet feeling, really. Uh, but I'm happy to have you aboard helping us out, Adol. You might want to do something about that barrel. Anyway, you should really go see Captain Barbaros. The captain's quarters are located at the quarter deck, near the storm of the ship. Ugh, it cannot move into, uh, into the exact spot where the barrel's about to roll. Curse you, barrel. I bet it's a stowaway or something. We need to just ch uh, chuck the barrow into the ocean. Um, not here. What a massive ship! Been a while since I was last on uh, one this big. I wanted to hit the head, but I took a wrong turn somewhere. Too bad this ain't my ship, or I'd just whiz off the deck. Gahaha! Ha. 
People st uh, claim that this game is easy, but those are people who are really good fl timing their flashcards in the first place, so it'll probably be really difficult for me, even if I have items. It's go There's going to be item limits, unlike in Salsetta. If Salsetta had item limits, I, there, I would require a lot more retries in order to get perfect runs. I barely managed to beat Time Attack Ruda, after all. Hmm. Let's see. Those are the only diamonds st oh, below there. Alright. What, you? Yes. We have an important passenger staying in this room. The captain has instructed me not to let anyone inside. If you're looking around the ship, you might want to look elsewhere. Even I don't know who's staying in here. Anyway, if you're just looking around, you might want to look elsewhere. Uh, I'm going to get a running start. Ah! Door! This door is reserved for honored guests. You cannot enter. Oh well. So much for my running start. So used to using uh, the L trigger for maps. Looks like we got clear skies and calm wa waters ahead of us. I gotta say, it's unusual for a voyage to go this smoothly. Maybe you and Dogi are good luck charms. What? Okay, good to know screenshotting works in this game. I gotta say, it's unusual for a voyage to go this smoothly. Maybe you and Dogi are good luck charms. The Lombardi is a pretty nice ship. It's more expensive than the ships I usually take, but I'm not taking any chances. A big business negotiation is waiting for me at the So, so Union. I'm closing this deal, no matter what. Splurging on the Lombardio is totally worth it. A big business negotiation is waiting for me. Okay. That's all you're gonna say. Um. Hmm, I already talked to you. This blue symbol, is it a door or something? What exactly is it? Is something hi hidden? Oh, maybe it's just an observable point. Maybe that's it. Anyways, before going in, I better save. Hmm. Just in case, that's pretty much everyone, right? Yep, looks like it. Point north? Ah. Rotate. Zooming in and out. Hmm. Okay, might as well go visit him. I talked to everyone else already. Even though I max the voice volume in the settings, it's still not all that loud to me. Please have a seat. Captain Barbaros. As I recall, you introduced yourself to me as an adventurer. Tell me, do you know of the Isle of Saren? Nope. Understandable. The Gate to Sea is home to many islands, after all. Gate to Sea. That's how you pronounce it. She's a treacherous sea to navigate. More ships than I can count have run afoul of her jagged islands. But the Isle of Saren has a particularly fearsome reputation. For you see, every ship that approaches the island sinks by some mysterious happenstance. Where is this island located? ship is en route to the island's surrounding waters as we speak. That being said, I intend to keep us a safe distance from the island. About five years ago, 
a Roman vessel conducting an exploratory voyage approached the island. The sea was calm that day, and ran afoul of nothing, yet I heard it was pulled under all the same. Grecian mythology speaks of monsters called Sirens, which lure ships to their doom. The pirates who first discovered that island declared it cursed ground, and named it accordingly. Uh, some random junk in my... Uh, uh, in my desk. Is there any way to go ashore? Hmm. Only you would ask that, Adol. Unfortunately, no one alive knows the answer to that question. The unlucky ones who have set foot on the island were never seen or heard from again. Even the saltiest sailors to voyage the gate to sea would tell you nothing about the island. I'd at least like to see it. I cannot approach the island, but when we pass by it, I will let you know. It seems my tale did not but stoke the fires of your adventurous spirit. I share this tale with every new member of my crew. When I first told Cathew, he was so frightened that he refused to leave his quarters. But I see you're made of sterner stuff than he, lad. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, Adol has experience with these kinds of islands that sink everything that goes near it. It was his very first adventure, in fact, when he was only about 17 or 18. Now then, I'm sorry to keep you so long, but I have a favor to ask you. I insist on holding a small welcome party whenever new passengers come aboard. I want you to attend the party and provide security. Are you worried about something? Don't worry. I'm merely being cautious. As captain, it's my responsibility to ensure that every passenger aboard my ship is safe. Please, speak to Cathy for the details about your assignment. I know you won't let me down at all. This is by far the best ship I've ever been on. Yes, I mean, right? I've been. I've been all It's a perfect getaway. I tell you. Are you do first time? First time on board? Hey, look at this guy. Come on. Good evening, passengers. I'm Captain Barbaros. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the Lombardia for your seafaring needs. With four masts and at 50 melia in length, this vessel is the largest of the passenger ships that voyage between Zandria and Aresia. All right, Adol. Since you're providing security, let's go over your responsibilities. I need to patrol the passenger compartment and the main deck. Keep a close watch for any passengers who seem suspicious or dangerous. Is someone dangerous aboard? It's possible, after all, we have a lot of guests aboard on this voyage. Make sure you chat them up, you might hear some interesting stories that way. But don't forget that these people are guests, so please be respectful toward them. Aye aye, sir. Well, aren't you enthusiastic? Anyway, looks like the captain's almost on with his speech. I'll do my part and start patrolling the cargo hold. We'll meet up later, Adol. Anyway, that's enough out of me. Please feel free to mix and mingle among yourselves as we continue on our voyage. I bid you all a welcome even wonderful evening. Camp menu. Of course, there are already auto saves for me, which is really good because this game it can it might crash even on the, my cur current setup, which uses Windows 10. Patrolling the ship. Hmm. 
Guess let's talk to everyone. <laughs> I'm sure you already know, but I'm only allowed to serve drinks to passengers right now. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of alcohol left over, though. Once we're done working, we'll toss back a few like we always do. I can do I can dash even in doors, huh? Hmm. <laughs> this wine is the definition of mediocre. You there, what are you just standing there for? You should be bringing me a night fine meal. I heard a ship, uh, this was a fine passenger vessel, but it fairly reeks of the lower class. You should be honored to uh, by the opportunity to serve me. Bring me a meal worthy of my refined palate. Um. Uh, I feel bad for my family that I boarded such a luxurious ship, but it was the only one available. I think I'll make it up to them by recreating all the meals being served tonight. I guess I better start studying the menu. Since my family couldn't be with me, I'll make it up to them by recreating the, all the dishes being served. Any hidden stuff? I talk to you, Free. Let's see. Hmm, sharing a me feast with commoners is more pleasant than I had expected. This blending of unconventional elements has all the makings of a masterpiece. Ah uh, yes, I understand now. There's more to the Lombardia than meets the eye. The twin moons are quite lovely this evening. The Lombardia is even more magnificent than I had anticipated. Hmm, I have never, I have never seen s my mistress look so surprised before. As a butler, I have a duty to support my mistress while she ventures beyond the scope of her naivety. Hmm, she can be a handful indeed. Doesn't he look a lot like Patrick's butler, Celestin? I wonder if they're related somehow. Hmm, who to talk to next? Oh, at all. A patrol duty, huh? It doesn't happen too often, but sometimes we get stowaways. Anyway, be careful tonight. Y even with this system, I, s it's, I sometimes drop below 60 FPS. Should I overclock? Even though I'm not running unlimited FPS? Hmm. <laughs> Cheers to a wonderful night. Uh, this claret is quite delicious. There's nothing like a bit of a nip to round out a hard day's work. I've been so hard at work lately that I've had no time to sit and enjoy a nice meal. I'm grateful for the captain's goodwill and I mean to savor it. Hmm. I admit, I was a little nervous about traveling by ship. We had a lovely trip and my wife looks so happy right now, so it was all worth it. I hope this feeling lasts forever. Hmm, thanks to my husband, we enjoyed a very nice trip abroad. And now we're heading home on this marvelous ship. I feel like the luckiest girl in Nova Regia. <laughs> huh, looks like we're supposed to eat while standing. I assume this means we can eat as much as we want. Time to eat, eat, eat till I make back the ticket price. I can't believe how worked up these stupid adults are getting over a party. Uh, this is boring me to sleep. Too bad they didn't invent smartphones in uh, this game. Then he'd probably be playing on it while... Wait a minute. Can you plug stuff in on a ship? I've never been on one before. Maybe I'll explore a cargo home. Good thing I made it on board, but where the hell is that damn fool? If I had known this was going to happen, I would have arranged to meet up beforehand. He sounds suspicious. I don't have time to be lounging around. Need something from me, sailor? No? Then beat it. Hmm. 
As you can see, there are people from all walks of life aboard the Lombardia. You can tell who's the big sh who are the big shots by how they fancy their chest. This ship accepts all passengers, though. <laughs> mm, in all my years, I, I never thought I would tra get to travel aboard such a magnificent ship. And the food is simply to die for. I have nothing but praise to offer. Now I'm finished eating, I think I'll go for a walk on the deck. Regular exercise is the secret to a long and healthy life. Hmm. I think I talked to all the NPCs in this room. Let's see. Walked all over the room, talked to everyone. Leave no NPC left behind. Hmm, I don't see his mistress though. Where did she go? She must be in a different room. Hmm, I can see a b my gold point. Multiple gold points. Okay. On patrol, huh? You look lost to me. This is the stern of the ship. The banquet hall and the captain's quarters are located here. If you want to head down to the cargo hold, take the stairs at the bow of the ship. One experience, somehow. I wonder if the DLC would be able to help me at all. Right now. Hmm. Bottled potions. Fish baits. Useful accessories and advanced accessories. Hold on, how many accessories can I have? Two? Costume and attachments. I guess it wouldn't hurt to use a costume DLC right now. Tempest Elixirs. Those sound pretty powerful. Laxia costume. Wait a minute. I don't see any adult costumes. Did I not manage to get one? Hmm. Let's see. Wait a minute. Why is there a... Why is there an arrow here? Let's go in this one since it has no event inside of it. Mini map. Event markers indicate which events will occur. Main story, quests, other events. Point of interest, treasure chest, harvest points. Hmm. I misread that. Huh. Still trying to get used to using the L button for dashing. But it has to be done if I want to jump and dash in succession. Man, the camera's gonna get really weird in some cases. Hope this doesn't get me killed. Yes. Some noble from Rom is staying in this first class cabin. I'm getting real sick of this guy demanding that we bring him more food. Who does he think we are? His servants? Man, this sucks. I'm just gonna steal his stuff. Ha! No, don't want to talk to you yet, story person. Hmm, nothing in here. This is just probably for the sailors, I guess. Yes. 
I've been traveling across uh, 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 Gate to Sea, <coughs> visiting different locales to spread the teachings of the church. <coughs> My parish church is based in Greek, which I have not returned to in two years. I'm sure the children there have grown so much. I can't wait to see uh, wait to their, I can't wait to see their faces again. Well. Oh. Hmm. Where was I before? Oh, the arrow must have shown the last entryway I came out of. The basement? There's still more to this basement? Seriously? Yes. This compartment contains the third class cabins and the sailors' sleeping quarters. Oh, it's you, Adol. I heard you're on patrol duty, so how are you liking it so far? Once you're finished, you'll be done for work for the day. Just a little more to go. Some parts are blocked off by the ultimate red rope of impenetrability. No character can defy it. Huh? There's a bunch of crew members downstairs. And animals. I guess that explains why some of them seem to be off the map. Pickards! Alright, everything looks good. No problem with passengers either. But that barrel is still rolling. If anything's gonna go wrong, it's apt to happen on the day we weigh anchor. Should be smooth sailing all around, but how about making the rounds anyway? Huh? This structure is not listed on the map. Uh... Oh, we finally set sail. They just asked me to come aboard all of a sudden. Maybe I should have declined. It's not like I can hop off halfway. Uh, I hope I don't have to do anything too demanding. This guy looks a little bit like Tobol, except somewhat more hopeless looking. Nothing back here. Hmm. I talked to every NPC in this room, including the animals. I wonder, are they go is everyone I talk to going to be listed around here? No. Guess it's not like the first two games. Uh, well, actually... Uh, yeah, I think a lot of the games had... Uh, some of these games actually had a list of uh, all the unique NPCs. Yes. Hmm. Okay. We try to head above deck. Is there anyone on the deck that I, uh, that I need to talk to? Yes, there is, apparently. Ah, this breeze, this night breeze is a lovely change of pace from raw stagnant air. Hmm, mm, you look like you know how to handle a sword. Uh, never mind. The night is so calm and quiet, and there are other things we could talk about instead. I hope your patrol finishes soon so you can relax for the evening. A real voyage begins at night, when the visibility is nearly zero. While the passengers are partying in the banquet hall, we, we gotta stay on our toes and do our job. Glad to have you aboard, Adol. There's an event. The wind is getting stronger! Yes. Oh hey Adol, thanks for patrolling tonight. The stars sure are beautiful, huh? 
Uh, don't let them distract you, or you might stumble off the deck. Check our course! Set sail! We'll talk to the important NPC last. Some people up there. Hello. Working for the night is tough. Uh, I can't wait to until my shift change. Cannot enter. Now, the thing about dashing is that you have a lot less maneuverability. You heard a voice coming from the captain's quarters. Oh, this is... <laughs> hey, what a great fight. Now I'm part of the crew, too. Enter. Ahem. Oh, it's you. You must be the newbie on board, huh? I may not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty seasoned sailor myself. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna report to the captain. Why don't you tie you up or something? Ha ha! Wait a minute. What? You probably can't tell, but I'm very busy. Run away! The little, uh, the little girl ran off somewhere. Huh. I, was that a story event? That didn't look like one. A little girl just ran out of my quarters wearing a, sailor u a sailor's uniform. How did she get inside my quarters? Should I run after her? Hmm, she did steal the uniform. It appears to have not been nothing more than a childish prank. I'll ask a sailor who is not busy to look out for her. Please continue your, your patrol of the ship. Shoot, I didn't get his dialogue beforehand. Oh well. Oh shit. Thank you for working so hard. You're doing a great job, Adol. Please continue your patrol. Ah, my curiosity got the better of me. Oh well, I'm sure it wasn't too important, right? And no, it's gonna be the literal secrets of the universe! That's how it always is every time I miss something. It'll always be connected to the very inner workings of the universe itself! And also would have contained a really awesome equipment. One that would have made it, it, it would have made the next boss really easy or something. Hmm. And that's it for the NPC. No wait, let's just go talk to that ch uh, that one buff looking NPC. Yaha, this breeze feels nice. Great word in a very clear starry sky. Wait for me, my darling Crete. I'm coming home. Okay, I guess I better head on down. Hmm. There's something in the kitchen area. I think I've already been downstairs, but let's go recheck it just in case that girl ran there. You never know with these NPCs. Maybe she's hiding among the animals. Hmm, nope. NPC head count, only two humans here.
Where could she have disappeared to? Yes. No one's acknowledging the little girl, huh? Hmm. Let's see, anyone else? I think I've already seen both of those NPCs before. Alright, I guess I'll just go talk to the important NPCs and continue the story. Ah, oh, there's Dogi. What's up? Hey, how you managed to get out of working the gal a galley? What patrol duty? Hmm, sounds like the perfect job for you. I mean, we're still trying to figure out where to go for our next big adventure. You'll probably hear some interesting stories when, while you're patrolling this big old ship. Who knows, maybe we'll hear something that'll lead us to our next adventure. Huh, let me know if you hear anything interesting. Okay, let's see. It's not NPC right there. <laughs> what do you want? You look suspicious. Not a thing. Jeez. Hmm, you must not be very busy if you have time to barge into the random rooms. By the way, on your way out, make sure you shut the door behind you, quietly. Hmm. Okay, that's it. He has turned to a normal NPC. That leaves just one person left, and I will have to save. Anyone hiding in here? No? Okay. No. Oh, why is he aboard the ship? My word, he always treats me like I'm a helpless child. That butler-looking guy. Even if I find him, I don't know how what I would say to convince him to come home. Uh, what am I doing? Uh oh, story time. Hey, Adol, how's the security patrol going? Everyone seems suspicious. <laughs> I'm gonna pick that. No, this game has multiple endings. Maybe if I pick the wrong choice, everything will go horribly wrong. So I should just be honest. No problems to report. Is that so? That's good to hear. After all, we have a lot of interesting people aboard. Looks like it's going to be another day of calm waters and smooth sailing. By the way, the captain has been looking for you. I think he said we were about to pass by something soon. He should be back in his quarters by now. Why don't you pay him a visit? We'll see him once we're done patrolling. Well, was like my captain's face, I don't think it was an emergency. Can you pay him a visit once you're done patrolling? That way I have a chance to save... Hmm... Any additional NPCs I need to worry about? Okay. On patrol, huh? Wait a minute, I already talked to you! Weird. Why? I, f I already had this conversation with you, uh, uh, ordinary sailors. Huh? Don't tell me yours got reset too. It has, w but why? I actually get stuck behind the door. I can't seem to push it either. Will it close automatically? Yeah, it will. Did yours get reset too, Doggy? Nope.
Okay, time to go upstairs, huh? Uh, once I go talk to the captain, I'm sure the story will advance. Honored guests only. Hold on, maybe there's s something new in the banquet hall. Anyone? <laughs> Same dialogue. I don't see that old girl anywhere. She hiding behind the counter. <laughs> no. Okay, time to go talk to the captain then. Up here. I want to take control of the ship. Ha! Oh, there you are. I'm sorry to bother you. I understand how busy you are right now. I just wanted to let you know that we're about to pass by it. You mean... Hmm, that's right, the Isle of Seiren. The sky is clear tonight, so you may be able to see the island silhouette. The Isle of Seiren is about 500 square Cremelier. The mountain range uh, roughly 2,000 high stretches across the island center. Since we're about to pass by, I figured you'd want to see it. Huh? Huh? Save first. What's happening? I don't know, sir. We seem to have run afoul of something. Uh, gotta and psych myself up. Assess the situation at once. Aye, aye, sir. <sighs> We're quite a distance from the island. It couldn't be. Ah! What is that? What's going on? Uh-oh. Now's my one last chance to save. Okay. Nothing I can grab in this room. Worst case scenario, I can reload the save and use some DLC. If I keep getting my ass kicked too much. That's not good. That looks final boss tier. Judging from its size. <laughs> At this rate, the ship will be destroyed. I have to learn to fight with a left stick now. Ah! A tentacle! Flash dodge it or flash guard it! Ah! Mystery of the Great Sea, technical of the unknown. Oh no. I don't have a weapon! Take this. Oh no. I'm not ready for this. Why did our first battle have to be against a boss type? ICO's blade was received and equipped. Or is it Isis blade? We don't know if the translation is accurate. Surprisingly, the very first boss of the game is pretty much flash guard or die. Yeah, this boss, it doesn't stay open for long all the time. So... Yeah, see, if you don't flash if you don't flash dodge, you only get like one hit at best. But if you finish a flash move, then you do get a few, more than a few hits. Yeah, if I had gotten fair at flash moving, I probably would have finished this in like half the time. Ah. This is a pretty tall order for a first boss. Even though its attack is fairly easy to dodge. As long as you don't try to actually corner yourself. Ah. 
Ah. You know, this could take a while. This thing is balanced so that I can take lots of hits even from this really OP sword. Someone's able to stack flash moves by doing a, by dodging well in the air because during that point, I think the hitbox of the attack is still active. I'm too scared to actually attempt a flash move though, even though it would make the battle shorter. Ah. Fortunately, it doesn't appear to have any real phases. Maybe if I stood closer to the edge of the ship, it w uh, uh, it w I would be able to hit it better. B to jump. Yeah, it's still not that good for attacking it. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of uh, sl slowdown right when Adult does his normal attack that could leave you open. Ha! Ah, got it! Finally a flash move! Ah! I could not time a flash guard. Timing for flash guards, pr it's not that easy because I'm too used to having higher frames, I guess. I have no items to work with. Oh, that was a lucky flash move. And yeah, this boss can kill you in two hits. It's on Inferno, so I guess that's understandable. Ah, oh, nice! I got two flash moves in a row. You're screwed now, tentacle man. Deal, finishing blow! Well, that was just a tentacle, not the whole monster. Aren't you a skilled one? Ow. So dashing. Except I took a huge hit there. Amazing. Nice work. I can always count on you, at all. What was that thing anyway? Looked like a giant tentacle. Which means, but that if it took me that much effort to beat one of the tentacles, I don't want to fight the main boss. Looked like a tentacle from some kind of giant squid. Uh... Mind helping me this time? It's all su they're surrounding us. I'll never be able to beat all of them. What's happening? Just one of them was already capable of kicking my ass. I'm gonna have to cut out a lot of my failures too. Seriously, I can't seem to get the timing of flash guard down at all. I don't see the flash at, uh, when I press it either. Do I need some kind? Why? How? Oh God! I, I'm pressing the R B button. Too. What's wrong with me? Oh no, barrel! Punch that barrel, doggy! He actually did it! Oh, come on! Damn it! No! I'm so, the one who's supposed to fall aboard and get washed up. Well, I guess I'm going too. No! I'm gonna get shipwrecked. I'm gonna lose my fancy sword. I'm gonna be stuck with crap equipment from now on. Uh, I might want to set the flash guard button to something else. This is bad. But what could they even set it to? Maybe I can set it to... Hmm. Right trigger. Right trigger and L trigger seem to do the same thing. So if I set it to R trigger, maybe that'll be a better alternative. Why is this? I have G sync and st oh no, the resol the internal resolution seems to be different now because of the video. I just hope it retains 1440p when I do when I see the recording. I always have to do desktop capture.
Yeah, it looks really weird now. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I have V-Sync on as well, so why is this happening? Hmm. Looks like Flash Move is going to be my new Flash Guard since I can't seem to guard in this game at all yet. Unless I, I, I need to reassign the buttons. Hmm. It's really bad. I don't know if I can win like this. Video's getting all torn up too. I'm not sure if you can see in the recording at all. Doki's not even a party member in this game, yet he still appears in the opening fighting alongside us? Huh, how does that work? Looks like we're fighting dinosaurs or dragons. I really need to get the hang of all these mechanics. You know, why didn't Flash Guard activate in that battle? So, is the timing for Flash Guard a lot stricter now? Chapter One: Isle of Saren. Well, the resolution looked kind of funky there. Oh no, I think a lot of people crashed at this point too. Where am I? I hope there's an autosave. You seem to have washed ashore on some unfamiliar beach. I don't even have a sword, do I? There are no signs of our people. All you can hear is the gentle sound of crashing waves. I need to save. Unconfig. <sighs> How should I go about this? And they leak to the same screen, don't they? And there is a lot of slowdown in this area. Entering. Hmm. I don't know. Better grab the sword, though. It's all I've got. Among the debris that has washed ashore, you find an old sword sticking out of the sand. Will you take the old sword? Yeah. Rusted sword. Oh, no. Oh, come on! I don't know how to flash guard yet! Don't do this to me! Ugh, it's too many of them! I can't win! I see, there is a- I can't see the flash guard, I just mistimed it. But it's a little circle. Ugh. Oh shit, I pressed the start button at the same time. Oh well, it didn't seem to kill me. So It didn't seem to crash though. So. I'll learn a new skill during a fight. Cost SP to use. 
Hold RB and use the skill assigned to B A X Y. Stop. For occasionally, I can auto guard here. You may need to be on guard here. Set your skills just to be safe. Sonic slide. Rush the enemy and deliver a quick slice. You've been adrift so long that exhaustion is starting to set in. It's dangerous to stay here. Continue on the head. Maybe we should do, redo my button config. Maybe it's change it back to RB after all. Since I know that flash guard does work, but I just have... It's just that the timing is... Uh, I'm just not used to it yet. Plus, fewer frames per second means it's going to be even harder to pull this off. No items. So, how useful are these accessories? Wait, can I not change my weapon? Additional hit points or stats, huh? Eagle Fencer, that looks pretty useful. Hmm. What does X do again? Change normal, change reverse. But I don't have anyone to change to. I can see some enemies up ahead. Hold on, I want to practice flash guarding. Why are you running away? Damn it! Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this non-hentai tentacle, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.